So now it's starting to misbehave when I press numeric. And punches a bunch of fives. Ignore the other hole they were from a previous punch. So is there a five key that stuck somewhere? So trying to uh, check the keyboard, which is an incredibly complicated mess. Um, it has a whole bunch of contacts at the bottom, and then two sets of contacts on the side. I don't know if you can see them. They're over here, called the bill contacts. And each key pushes any number of those right so this one pushes one two three four five contacts and six which is connected to nothing and, uh, and then they get you know, put together in a complicated way I would be really interested to figure out how they came up with that mess um, and then that makes a little bit more sense these are all the contacts um, both the side and the top one arranged here and you can see of how oh, eventually they are combined to put the punches together. So let's see. Punch 5, that's this guy. Now uh, it's the line contact 27, 19, 12, or the bill contact, which is the side contact 4. But now it only happens when the numeric key is pressed. So that's numeric voltage. So anything that's tied to numeric only one it's bail four tied to numeric so I have to check that contact and that would be the only one that can cause the uh, five to be punched when numeric voltage is applied so hunting for contact bail four let's see this one over there is two this one over here is four and indeed it's stuck. This is normal contact goes down. I don't know if you can see it, it goes up and down. And contact four is stuck. Okay. So I read the schematics properly, I found the fault. So why is it stuck all the time? Alright, so there's actually a spec for that contact uh, spacing to the armature and it's all point uh, 15 mils to 25 mils. Uh, so I I broke out my uh, gauge here. Gauge is here, the 15 mil, trying to hit the 20 mil right in the middle. And uh, that was actually kind of nerve wracking. You can adjust the global position of the contacts with uh, by sliding this thing. It's pretty hard to film, so I just didn't do it on, on the camera. Uh, and uh, I couldn't adjust, uh, so bail 4 was uh, in spec, so I had to uh, take the contacts off and delicately bend it and uh, put it back on. It looked like it had been bent before, so I think it's a previous repair. So now they are uh, always in spec, uh, so I hope that will work. I have to re reassemble the whole thing here, I have to partly disassemble this, this very complicated keyboard. So let's see if the keyboard works again. Need a card. Numeric 5. And it prints 5. So I think I am good now. I'll test uh, all the keys and see if they all work. And I did test all the keys uh, without printing. They all work, they all punch, and then I interpreted the card to make sure they could they punch the right characters and could recognize them, and it did. So I think my keyboard is now working good. Uh, I have some work to do on the printing. Some of the uh, pins uh, don't work too well. Uh, I'm not sure how to adjust that, so I'll probably ask at the museum, uh, Frank must know all the details on the printing adjustment procedure.